All right, let's have a look at twisted pair cable. This is very, very common. This is the most common kind of cable used in networking today. Wireless, of course, is used even more maybe today, but uh, cabling is, is huge. Well, this is what twisted pair cable looks like. And I've got various pairs of cables twisted together, all enclosed in a jacket like that. This is telephone cable, and as you can see, I've only got two pairs going through here, and then a connector called an RJ11 connector. So there are four wires total, so you only have to have four connections here. So these are a little bit smaller than the network connectors that you might be used to seeing. Twisted pair data wire then looks like this. I've got eight different uh, pairs of wire or four pairs of wires eight different wires and they come in blue and then blue stripe orange orange stripe brown brown stripe green and green stripe here's an rj45 cable which is the one that you plug into your computer or into the wall typically only four of those wires are used except for gigabit speeds so when we're talking typical speeds only four of these wires are used we use the green and the orange uh, the blue and the brown are not used typically. However, for gigabit speed uh, networking, you do use all eight of them in that case. Now, each wire or each pair of wires is used for one circuit. Uh, any kind, anytime you have an electrical circuit, and remember the twisted pair is electrical, anytime you have an electrical circuit, it requires two wires, one, two, one to send the information and then one to return the information actually it went the other way didn't it from negative to positive one to send the information went through a switch here and then one to return the information and so we do require or not the information i should say but the voltages right um, so we do require two wires for one circuit and that's why we have uh, two of these sets uh, the orange and the green uh, the orange and the orange stripe make one circuit, and that can send data in one direction, say from a server to a PC, and then the other one can send data to the in the other direction, say from the PC to the server. So we get this bi-directional flow by using two sets of wires. The typical gauge of wire that we use uh, in twisted pair, and this is not 100% in every case, is 24 gauge. Note that the smaller the gauge number, the larger the size of the wire. Shielded and unshielded. Here you're looking at unshielded twisted pair or UTP cable. They're just simply the wires and the jacket and that's all you get. With shielded twisted pair you also have some foil here wrapped around each set of wires and in another option you can put foil around the entire thing. In this case there's a little separator added here that that we won't talk about uh, so much in this class, although if you go on to the 278 class, we'll talk about that more. But um, uh, it just separates these wires from each other. So we can do shielding in either either uh, combination of these, or both for that matter. Here are the advantages and disadvantages. Unshielded twisted pair does cost less. You don't have that extra shielding in there. It's thinner, easier to work with, more flexible. However, it does leak some of the signal, and the bad guy could actually tap into that and listen using uh, a device that can hear electromagnetic signals coming outside of that wire. It also is prone to outside interference, so motors, microwaves, other uh, radios, and so on can, um, uh, can interfere with the signal that you have in unshielded twisted pair. With shielded twisted pair, it does cost more. It's a little bit thicker, less flexible to work with, but you have less interference and signal leakage. Now, it's not eliminated, but it is less. So UTP, or unshielded twisted pair, is by far the most common.